Hello and welcome to today's Lightroom Quick Tip. In today's video we're going to be looking at keywording, more specifically keyword sets within Lightroom Classic. So without further ado, let's jump across to Lightroom Classic. So here I am in Lightroom Classic running version 11.5. And let's start with explaining what keywords are. Keywords are a way of tagging a image with a word or a phrase, which is separated normally with a comma, that relates to the image. What you or somebody else would search for if they were looking up in a catalog or a, a search engine or something like that. And keywords are designed so you can find your images locally very quickly but also on the web in addition to other IPTC data for example headline title description and location so these images I have here of an Exmoor pony I would tag them keyword them as Exmoor comma Exmoor pony comma Exmoor Wildlife, comma. But I may have uh, in my catalog a lot of images that are very similar. So for example, when I import these, I will import them with a keyword preset. And those would just be generic keywords about all Exmoor ponies. But I might have a subsection of that, for example, grazing or feeding and I want to quickly apply some keywords to a group of images now I could drag them across from a list but a keyword set is an ideal opportunity to use that functionality to apply them to some images by single clicking so a keyword set is up to nine keywords that basically are saved in a memory location. And I'll show you where they are now in the library module. So if we come to the right hand panel, they're under keywording. And it's the third drop down keyword sets. And Lightroom Classic comes with a couple of sets already made outdoor photography, portrait photography, and wedding photography. So we can edit them here by clicking at the bottom and edit set, or we can come up to metadata, keyword set, and we've got them here, and we can edit the set. So, clicking on edit the set, how do we create a set? Well, first, we have to add our keywords to this menu. So, and we get nine boxes. Now, if you use hierarchical, my suggestion would be to not capitalize your keywords. When you search on the web, do you capitalize every word? Most people don't. So if it's a keyword, I would put everything lowercase. Now, I do have a course about keywording, link is in the description. I also offer one-to-one -one workshops about keywording, where we look at your workflow, what do you photograph, how, how do you process, do you import them with keywords, all these type of things, and we discuss and we put together a workflow for you that a lot of the actions are automated. Um, and the link for that one-to-one uh, -one Zoom is in uh, the description below. So anyway, these are Exmoor ponies. So Exmoor, Exmoor Wildlife, Exmoor Pony. And I want to create generic keywords for these images. Now, another great thing about using keyword sets is once you've typed them in once, and yes, there is a spell checker within Lightroom Classic, spell and grammar checker. You know they're spelled correctly, so you're not mistyping. 
So the other keywords are irrelevant to the image. Now, I've got nine boxes. Don't have to use nine boxes. And these keyword sets may be more specific to the narrative that's happening in the image. So for example, if it was a kingfisher bird, fishing, feeding, you may put a lot more keywords because that's the narrative and you like taking that type of photograph. So you'd fill up those boxes. So now you click on the drop down, save as a new preset. So now because it's a title, that's really important if you use hierarchical keywords. And again, that's in my course or in my one-to-one -one priest, uh, one-to-one -one workshop. So Exmoor Pony. And I create that Exmoor Pony preset. And I now just click out cancel. Now, if I come across to the right-hand side, there is on the drop-down Exmoor Ponies. And there are my three keywords, but they're grayed out at the moment. So let's just take, let's reduce the thumbnails. Okay, so let's take these images. I've clicked on the first image, shift clicked on the last image, and now I can just click on the image, the keywords, and they will apply them to all those images. I don't have to do all the images, but it's a very quick way of taking generic or narrative based keywords that you regularly use for a type of image. So if you were into transport, photographing motors, uh, motorsport or cars or um, uh, trains or something like that, and you regularly photograph those type of narrative, you could create a keyword set for that type of narrative in the image. So you would have uh, a keyword preset for perhaps on import, which is for another video or my course or my workshops. And then there are keyword sets. You're drilling down, you're making your keywords a little bit more narrow than generic keywords. Now, I hope this was of help to you today. If you liked what I've shown you today, please give a thumbs up. If you've got a question, ask away in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you like the content, there's a lot more videos, why not subscribe? And just the side of me is my playlist for all my Lightroom Classic quick tips. If you'd like to subscribe to my course, the link's in the description for keywording, or perhaps you'd like a one-to-one -one bespoke workshop about keywording, for you, live on Zoom, the link's also in the description. Stay safe, have a great day. Bye for now.